Hello everyone, this is Natalie Keela. Just coming to do a video for you guys. Um, this video here will basically um, be dedicated to the products that I use, and I guess somewhat um, um, my regimen of, of uh, daily um, moisturizing, I guess, and deep conditioning and all that good stuff. A couple days ago, I did a protein treatment. Well, actually, was it yesterday? Day four. Yeah, my days are like <laughs> all coming together but I did a protein treatment to my hair using um, Lasagna's Carafuse strengthening treatment and I love it my hair is re looking really good it's great shine to it and my hair does this whole thing and anytime it starts growing and it touches my my shoulders it starts to flip so it's doing its own little flippy thing right there but anyway, I digress. Back to the products. Um, when I first started transitioning, I was really big into my Bio Silk products, which here's the Cleanse Silk Therapy Shampoo. And I absolutely um, do love this product. I'm going to start by using this one's actually almost empty. So, and then there's the Silk Therapy Conditioner. And I really must say that my hair when I was transitioning was kind of it was still looking like this it was looking really good so I was pleased with that and I'm probably going to get back to using it and of course you guys have seen my bio silk thermal shield that I use um when I'm anytime that I'm applying heat to it so those are those products so yeah those products just like slam everywhere so please forgive next um products that I use now as far as shampooing my hair. I love um, Design Essentials Moisture Retention. I see that. I use this just about any time that I wash my hair, really, to be honest with you. So I have that. And then I have the have the um, Express Instant Moisturizing Conditioner. That I put on after. And then I put a little um, Design Essentials Therapeutics RX leave in hydrating conditioner in, just a little bit, you know. And if I want to need to cleanse my hair, I use the organic, organic cleanse. That's what I used after I did the Mazani um, Carafuse treatment. Um, for my color hair, for my color treated hair, I use Retin, the color extend shampoo. So sometimes I will put just a little bit of, of it up here at the top and lather it in, rinse it off in the conditioner to treat those areas. I have some Design Essentials HCL leave-in conditioner and blow drying lotion. Um, I tried it once and hmm, I, I don't. I didn't really care for it, but I'm going to try it again soon and kind of see what results I get from it. So, um, before I became um, natural and when I was so relaxed, I used this Shea Butter by Lustra Silk. Their cholesterol is a triple adding formula, Shea Butter, Cholesterol, and Mango. And I used it um, a lot of times to do like deep conditionings and I love it and I, I still use it sometimes. So that's pretty good for me. Um, looks like the rest of the stuff is for curl hair. My Cantu Shea Butter, which I have no idea where it disappeared to, but I just bought some Cantu Shea Butter. Um, for me, when I first started going natural, when my curls really started showing, I would put a little bit of the product on my hair and kind of um, brush it through with my big brush, which my powder brush, which that has disappeared on me too. I think it's in my purse. But I would use my powder brush and brush it through, pull my hair back into a banana clip, and just let the curls dangle. I would um, bleed some of this part out over here at the very top and have it curly and kind of have a mohawk while it was in the banana clip. So, have fun with that. 
Um, I've tried Diva Curls uh, line and I use their gel so I don't have that one with me now but I like their product so far. I tried it again this um, well, this um, fall and it's been pretty good. The Diva Curl No Poo doesn't have sulfate so I suppose it works really good with your curls. And then the One Condition and the Diva Curl Set It Free Moisture Lock and the gel and I really like this with the gel at that time so of course I don't have the gel so you know I like that a lot like I said I use the Cancer Shea Butter um, also to do twist outs two strand twist outs and I loved it and I've also used the Mazzani Butter Rich Deep Nourishing Hair Dress to do twist outs and as you guys can see it's kind of I haven't used a, like a ton of it but I've used it I liked it natural curls um wash and go stuff i've done i've used to find um wave by design from design essentials define and shine two in one dry finishing lotion and the dry finishing mist and shine spray and like that a lot it made my curls really tight um so it's very very kinky very coily which is okay the other product that i've tried no frizz um, their shampoo and conditioner. I tried it one time last year when I first bought it and it's just been sitting here. I, I should be done with this. But I tried it again a couple weeks ago and I must say I did like it. I did like the results because I air dried it, air dried my hair and I let the product, you know, take its course and, and I like the curls. My curls were very soft, they were very loose and I love that. Mm, of course everybody knows. I love my organic root stimulator. I spray them on my hair every now and again. I have my Design Essentials oil that I put on my hair, and that's what I had on it today to combat frizz here in South Georgia. And I love it. What else do I have? I just bought this by, I think it's Talia Wajid. Excuse me if I pronounced it incorrectly. The Kinky Wavy and um, Natural Herbal Style and Shine. I tried doing a twist out with it the other day on dry hair and I didn't really like it I should have posted the video anyway but I'm gonna try it again do it um, take my time the next time and we'll see how it goes I have a cheese um, infra treatment thermal protective treatment I used it once um, I think it did okay it really didn't like wow me but I will try it again like all the stuff that didn't wow me the first time I'm gonna try it again I've tried Miss Jessie's. I've tried the sample size items. Um, I used the baby buttercream up pretty good on some twist outs, I think. And the curly buttercream. I'm almost done with the little two ounce jar. Uh, I haven't tried the rapid recovery treatment yet. But since my goal for the rest of the year, as you guys can see, I haven't used it, for the rest of the remainder of the year is to not straighten my hair anymore. So this is the last time. Hopefully, you guys will see my hair straight for a while I'm gonna try wearing it curly so and we gonna see how that goes I got this product um, by Darcy's Botanicals Juicy Peach Daily Leave-In Conditioner um, and this, like I said this was a sample size um, that I received this at the um, natural hair meetup that was in Atlanta earlier this year and the product smells so good this smells so good. I love peaches, so I love it. it. Smells really good. Um, when I had my hair braided, whenever I would wear my curls and stuff, I would use the Shea Butter Softening Hair and Scalp Lotion. It really feels good on my scalp. And now that I don't have it, I still kind of use it. It's um, also by Organic Root Stimulator, so <sighs> love that. <clears throat> You guys already know that I love my my FHI um, heat platform. It's like my best friend, <laughs> but it's gonna miss me for a while for the rest of. I mean, we're already in November, so I don't have that much longer. But we're gonna see how long my hair goes. We'll see. And my bio silk flutter, <clears throat> which I use to um, put body into my hair. I use this for my roots. Usually, I really only have to go one time through, but I may go twice and then go um, through the rest of my hair with this. 
And then there's my GV Pro. You guys know about that. <clears throat> this is just going to be over my products. I'll show you guys because I only have 15 minutes. So I did another one recently. It was like 16 minutes and some change. I couldn't post it. So, And then here's my, my big white tooth comb. I love it. You guys, when you saw me do my rod set, I had my end wraps. Love it. Also, during my transitioning phase, um, and even sometimes now, I need I may start back doing it sometime. But I love this Bye Bye Dale Sassoon. Okay. Okay. Yes. You got a piece of code. Hold on. Uh, uh, this is very live. That's my brother. Okay. Sorry, my niece is staying the night, so. And then I have this Vidal Sassoon rollers. And it kind of gives me a roller set because I've not been able to um, really get my technique down for doing roller sets on natural hair. And I hope to do that very soon. So. So, and then my book clips. So when I'm, especially when I'm um, going through my hair, even to do a, like, finger in it to do the, um, wash and goes or to straighten it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting off the call. And my duck clips and the smaller clips. I must. Um, so basically, you guys saw all the products that I use, but to be honest with you, I really just use the Design Essentials, Moisture Retention, Shampoo, and the um, Express Conditioner when I'm washing my hair. Put a little bit of the leave-in conditioner on, you know, because conditioner is really good for your hair. So, and it's been really good for mine. So, I'll leave that on. Um, then from there, that's um, basically when I'm running straight. When I'm running curly, most of those products are interchangeable to me. So, I really haven't found anything that just makes it do anything better because I cannot, I can go without putting product on there and just having cold washed it and go and I still have beautiful curls so it is what it is you just gotta find a product that works best for your hair so wish you all the best of luck and thank you guys for watching and I apologize for my brother coming in on the video but um, I'm real I'm not gonna edit it out so hope you guys enjoy um, I got a couple of requests to do um, makeup tutorials i'll try um i'm not perfect like when i put my makeup on i'm not like doing any particular thing i just kind of look at the colors mm, what moon am i in today and do my look i, I kind of keep it simple for work I have that same little daytime look so i will try to do one of those videos i'm gonna do a twist out hopefully this week and <clears throat> i'm gonna try the kinky wavy Natural by Tali Wajid, and we're gonna see how that turns out. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this by Mazani, the HRM Humidity Resistant Mist. I love this. I gotta get more of that, but that really helps here. And I keep saying South Georgia, but everybody has humidity somewhere, so that's what it is. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, oh, disclaimer again, because I know a lot of these products with me being natural, you guys probably will say that. I should not be using them because of such and such ingredient in them. And of course, all of them are not natural products. All of them, you know, aren't berries and whatever from the backyard, but they work really well with my hair, so I keep using them. I mean, if they make my hair fall out, then I will stop. If they make my hair break, I will stop. But it looks good. And like I'm gonna show you guys, and yeah, like I said, it keeps flipping, so at least I know it's grown because it's flipping. <clears throat> so if you guys have any questions feel free to send me a message to comment below subscribe tell your friends follow me on twitter at naturally keela and i will follow you back um watch my other videos i think i'm at right now i think this is number 19 i want to say so thank you guys. You guys have been so positive and I'm loving the feedback. If you guys have any questions, like I said, please feel free to ask me. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day and do something nice for your hair. Bye.